Welcome to Shift. In this video, I'm going to discuss the control center on the iPhone and iPad. Before I begin, it should be noted that I am using iOS 10 on both of the devices that you see on your screen. Essentially, Control Center is a hidden drawer that provides quick access to commonly used settings or features. To access or show the Control Center, simply swipe up from the bottom of the screen like so. Please note that the Control Center does look slightly different on the iPhone than it does on the iPad. Part of the reason for this is simply screen real estate. Near the top of the Control Center, you will notice Airplane Mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, Orientation Lock, and Mute on the iPad. You will also notice a slider that adjusts screen brightness. Near the center of the Control Center, you will find buttons to access AirPlay, AirDrop, and Night Shift. Finally, at the bottom, you will see what I find to be the most useful features of Control Center, especially on the iPhone, which has a few more added features. Both have buttons to open the clock and the camera apps. I always use the Control Center to open these apps. In addition, the iPhone has buttons to activate the flashlight feature and a quick access button for a calculator. If you swipe to the right on the Control Center, you will find controls that deal with music and sounds. For instance, you will find the current song loaded on your device, back, play, and forward buttons, along with a slider to adjust the volume. Finally, the Control Center also features a way to easily change what connected device the sound is coming from. For example, when my iPhone is connected with my car, I have an option for the sound to come from my phone or from my car through sync. To leave the control center, simply tap outside of the area. It is also worth noting that you can make a few changes to control center by going to the settings app and tapping on control center. You will notice in these settings that you can choose if you want Control Center to be accessed from the lock screen or if you want Control Center to be available to bring up within apps. As you can see on the screen, right now I have both of these features turned on, but if I ever want to turn them off, I would simply go to this area of settings and tap on the green back toggle switch to turn them off. Well, there you have it. A quick look at the Control Center on an iPhone and iPad. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to this channel.